All right, so let's get our meeting going here. Um, let's go through the grants one through 42 and review which ones we are denying. And so Don, who is the one who actually puts, do you want me to do it after the meeting is over? As we go along, we would have someone Check put the off. denials in. So you just have your conversation. Um, the yep. last time you were denying as you went along and that worked out pretty well. Um, you'll see in the minutes, all it basically says is uh, grant one, denied or approved, grant two, denied or approved. Right, but then we have to put it into smart simple. That so, I don't know. That I, I'd have to find out for you. One of us has to do it after. Uh, we can do it after we're done. That okay, we I'll, I'll take care of that because Svet probably can't spend the time doing that right yeah. now. Do you agree? You all, all, are you okay that's, with that, Andrew and Sven? That's fine. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah. Okay, so I'll take care of the denials. I think I know why we're denying them, so I don't need to have a long discussion about nope. that. Okay, so the first one we denied. Denied. Everyone agree? I'm just going to jump yep. in really quick, Tina, before I close off. Sure. It is recording, and you have been made host in the event that anyone else tries to come in. You'll see it at okay, the top great. of your screen. Okay, great. have a good night. Okay, thank you. All right, so uh, number one, deny. Number two, deny. deny. Number three, we were going to give some funding to, but we're not gonna say how much yet. Yep. Agreed? Agreed. And then the, the number, number four, four, we are going to give money to. Mm -hmm. Juneteenth, we are going to give money to. Yep. One book, we are going to give money to. Yep. Big Ryan, number seven, yes, we're giving money to. Um, eight, I would like to reconsider that one. That's the art class at BR. Okay. Anybody want to have a discussion about that one? What is the amount they're asking? I don't have both screens they up. They are asking 1732. It's a lot of money for a few students, but I sort of feel like this is what we're for. Yeah. Yeah. This the biggest chunk of it, not the biggest chunk, one of the chunks of it is the bus. Yeah. I mean, I would love to see some um, you know, somebody donate the bus money so we didn't spend LCC money on transportation. Yes. Mm -hmm. But I think if we don't fund the whole thing, it won't happen. Is this is this part of the school as well? Yes. Uh um Shirley Wood is the art teacher at BR. She's an amazing teacher mm -hmm. and she does amazing stuff with the kids. It's a small group though, that are doing this printmaking thing and going into Boston or wherever they're going. So they need a bus for that part of it. So that's why it's so expensive. Is this one trip? Yeah, well, no, it's a series of things. Okay. Yeah. Right. I mean, she gave a very specific amount of money that she needs, 1732. <laughs> Do you think if we give them half, then the school will come it up? It won't happen. Half? No, the school doesn't have money for that kind of stuff. They don't have a fundraising group like the Mitchell Elementary School. Okay. I mean, they could charge the kids, but I think the kids probably would not. Yeah, I, I think if we don't fund it, it's not going to happen. I'm let's for... not deny it. What I'm getting yeah. at is let's not deny it. Okay, we're but... going to deny it. Let's not deny it now. Let's Can revisit it. Okay, let's, let's, let's give it that could be the money exactly. that could be the money that gets freed up. Yep. Okay, yep. let's give a check next to it. You agree, Svet? Yes. That's fine. Okay, so eight is back on the table. Yep. Um, nine we denied. For some reason, I can't turn on my camera, guys. I'm sorry. Like that's it's, okay. Yeah. That's it. We know what you look like. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ten. So nine, nine was uh, the Brockton Symphony. Yep. Now, 10 is Carrie Campbell. I thought long and hard about her. The preschool has no music classes at all. If she doesn't do at least part of the time, she wanted like once a month or something like that. Anyway, I sort of feel like we should not deny her, but not necessarily give the full amount, but take okay. her off the denial list. Let's take her off the denial list then. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, chess club. Yeah. I think we should deny them because yeah. they got their money. Yep. Yeah, they've got the money last year. And then this year, again, nothing specific. What are they going to invest it in? And what kind of... 
Yeah. The, the thing is, movies. Svet, I, they got the money just now for mm -hmm. it. So I don't see why we need to, if they want to reapply next year, it's up to them. But I, I think that we should. Okay. So can right. I have a discussion about denying them? Deny. Yep. Okay. All right. Non to number 12 is, yeah, we denied her already. Number 13, close your ears, Andrew. Um, they're still on the accepted, right? Scott? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> we'll talk about money later when Andrew's not around. Um, 14 and 15, we denied. They finally picked up their money from last yep. year. So I yep. don't feel like we should have to fund them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, 16, we denied this Francis Hart guy and I don't remember what our reasoning was. He's supposed to perform at the senior center. He was looking for 350, got 275 last year. Why did we decide to deny him? I think because we thought we were doing the same, it was like a repeat of what Big Ryan was doing, but I don't, I'm not quite Big sure. Big Ryan is, is for kids. This is yeah. for the senior center. For the seniors, yeah. And okay, is he, let's. Is this the guy that sings the ditties or something? Or the, uh, I think that's a different one. Okay. Let's not deny him yet. Okay. Okay, so he's back off the deny list. All right, then the next. Three, four, 17, 18, 19, denied. 20 is denied. 20. That's the one I um, I spoke Oh, with. oh, we denied that. Okay, we, so. We originally, were we didn't know what he was doing, and that's why I right. went back. And what he wrote to me, and I spoke to him on the phone, was he provides uh, services to nonprofits in Bridgewater. I had named several of them. And he's wants to take the money and put it towards their events so they can do fundraising and add to their war chest. For instance, he did the sound for, um, for Music Alley for the um, June July 4th, 10th, probably. Juneteenth, the, the BBA has a big fall festival. He does the sound for that. He also does a sound for the 4th of July. They have a All right, let me, um, let me ask Rebecca if she's willing to jump on. Rebecca, do you hire this Jason guy to do your music or your sound? No. Interesting. He said he did it at some field down mm -hmm. by a, a forge. He may have done it in 2021. We yep. did not hire him for 2022. We have a different sound guy for 2022 and also for 2023 coming up. So, so he- this, Are there three different sound guys? So when we did it in 2021, I was not the one that hired him. It probably was Jason. If it was Music Alley, it probably was Jason yeah. because David Wilson was the one that hired him. And as you know, David Wilson had been very active in Music Alley. Yeah. Last year, we used um, someone named Steve uh, not Wilson, Steve Walsh. Okay. And that's who we're using this year. So we're not using Jason. Does that help? It, yeah, so. now it's like a big old question mark. Maybe we don't deny him, but consider more questions of him. Is, is he, has he have contracts? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yep. Because he said he's going to. Because look. see, the, the problem for you guys that are listening in on this is this is something new that to me. The Cultural Council approves money and they tell this guy, Jason, here's your money, go forth and spend it how you will. Mm -hmm. But there's no accounting. That's true. They don't have they to come have back to, to us and say, if, I got a thousand here, a thousand, you know, I did this. So, so we kind of give them a blank check. Yeah. So if it helps at all, because I don't want to, I don't want to diss this guy. We're not using him, but I don't want to diss him. My understanding, again, I wasn't the one that engaged with him, but my understanding was that when he did it for us in 2021, he did provide a discounted rate. So if that helps you at all. It wasn't for free. Okay. Was, all right. Well, let's, let's take Jason off the deny list and we'll discuss when we find out what money we have. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. 
on to 21. Denied. We did deny him, but he's performed at Music Alley and at the library. We don't want to give him an opportunity to perform in Bridgewater. I don't know who he is, but we, I'm just saying we had denied him when we spoke because that's what I have. Right, there. right. But this, that's why I'm, we're meeting right now to discuss which ones we want to reconsider. Okay. Um, do you, did you say that he has performed at Music Alley before? I've never seen him. And I've been involved with Music Alley for six years. Interesting. It might have been before I got on. You know, there's a whole new group of people, but um, I had never heard of her. Let me see if I if reached Brid out. Bridgewater person. So I, I reached. I reached out to him. Yeah. Um, and he said that he has performed at the library, the senior center, and Music Alley, and he sets the dates for his performances after he gets the cash. That seems kind of shaky to me. I've never heard of him. And is he a Bridgewater resident? I don't have that right in front of me. Yeah, I don't either have that. Svet, do you have that list in front of you that shows all the all the candidates? Yeah, the candidates. Number look at 21, Grant 21. 21. What's his address? 21. Let me take a look. David uh, Melu. Where's the address? Do you guys know on their project? Oh, yes, it's He's one. Clark Street. Is that Rhode Island? But that doesn't mean anything. It's I mean, one Clark Street, Belchertown, Massachusetts. Yeah, yeah, well, see, that's that's what I wanted it because it's Belchertown is two to three hours away. So I don't remember ever booking anybody for Music Alley named David Maloof. It's usually a band. And usually when we have single people play, it's usually a local. Yeah, yeah. So if he's saying that he'll book once he gets paid the money, you know, and that's one of the things Jason said, I'm going to have to be accountable for the 3000 and I will, or whatever he gets. And I will let you know what I, you know, for the next year, what I will use the money for. A lot of these people can't just book something if they don't know they're going to be getting money. And it's only, right, so 30, what? it's only 30 uh, kind of like attendance as expected. And also he doesn't have specific, dates you know it says spring summer no not at all not at all no. and when i emailed him he said that he sets up the dates after he gets after. the funding uh, I see. i'm okay we'll leave him on deny and tell him to apply again next year with more details how's I that agree. i agree okay so we'll leave him as a deny 22 is a deny 23 is a deny 24 deny 25 deny 26 deny because they got yep. funding last year um 27 is denied. 28 is the folk rock. Yep. Um, and we did fund them, so we'll leave yes. them. Yep. 29 is funding. Funding. Uh, 30 deny. Right. 31. He's another one that wants the money up front and then he'll book things. So I think when we do the um, guidelines for next year, we're going to yeah. have to tell applicants we need more details more dates. We need to right. contact people who they're planning to perform with. Do you agree? Yes. And that's just an addendum we can add to it this year for next year. You know, right. let us know, you know, what you use the money for the past year, if you use it. If not, we need to know specifically what the money is going to be used for. Well, I'm thinking we need a, at least a contact person who they hope to perform with. Like yeah. if they don't tell you Emily Williams. Yeah. They haven't contacted Senior Center. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Okay. Um, 32 is the BR Musical. That's still on. Now, Thomas Rule is the one who was a late pickup. I think we should deny him for this year. Mm -hmm. That sounds good. Okay. You agree? Yep. Yes. Okay, and then we are denying all the way until yep. 39. 39 is the um, special ed art show. Yes. And we were going to fund that. Yep. Talking books we were going to fund. 
And then the very last one, I forget what our discussion was about this dancer. You got the uh, email I sent you. Right, but I don't remember what you said. Nobody remembers her coming? No, I asked Shirley um, who's involved with um, Juneteenth, Shirley Phillips. She'd never heard of her. And I asked Justin McCauley, who was a treasurer last year, asked him if he remembered her and he says no. And David Wilson didn't know who he was. And David Wilson had something to do with the Juneteenth last year. So unless, um, Rebecca, do you know um, this woman? What is her name? I don't have it in front of me. It is Shefa Tuka Tu. Oh, definitely. <laughs> She's wonderful. Oh, so you know who she is? Yes. yes. Is she coming to do your thing? She, we have invited her. I don't believe we've gotten a, uh, a, yet, a, a, a response yet. Okay, so can, my question is, is the money you're asking from us to include paying her? So, so it could be because we are paying for entertainment. So, All right, so that's some, the of problem money, some of our money- She's asking for her own funding. But she didn't say it was for that. She wants to do it at the schools, at Bridgewater School. She doesn't specify which school. So, so, so just, just to add on, I know that I'm not, but because you asked the question, I know that this is your meeting. She, some, she had some kind of a grant last year. I don't know if it was from y'all, but yes, she did. It was. She got she money from us. Performances at the um, Stanley Ironworks Field, and they were fabulous. That she was also a, did, that was 2021, wasn't it? No, it was this past summer because I was there. Was that part, okay, so that had nothing I, to do with- I don't know if it was part of anything y'all did, but she did the library and then she did there. She got some kind of funding. So I just wanted you to know that she's- Yeah, she got, she got 1,070 last year. So we wanna make sure she actually is doing, because we don't have anything other than Bridgewater School. Yeah, she, she did two at the library. Board. Two at the library that I'm aware of, two at the library and three at the Stanley Ironworks Park. She did five performances? That I'm aware of. There may have been more, yes. And how did you hear about her? Um, I, I'm trying to think how I, I think because when she was at the library and I get the, all this, you know, the information from the library, I saw that her performance was gonna be there. And I don't remember who informed me, it might've been on social media that she was gonna be at the Ironworks Park. I don't remember that. What what was she part of a function at the Ironworks Park? No, she was just there by herself, and it was explaining. Um, and I won't be able to use all the right terminology, so oh, forgive right. me for that. But explaining um, African dances and the moves and what they mean, and then um, we would participate with her. I think there around it. It wasn't there weren't a lot of people, unfortunately. That as you know, that's what happens with a lot of these things. I think there were about a dozen of us there but she's fabulous. She's really an incredible uh, performer and um, spiritually she has a, a lot that she offers. I guess we need to emphasize to her that she's got to get publicity somehow. Yeah. If Shirley Phillips doesn't know who she is, <laughs> you know, Shirley was, was part of that group and, and I, and maybe she didn't know the woman's name. I, I mentioned the name to her. She didn't know her, but um, Tina, I don't have a problem if she wants to be a part of some of the, um, the library or something, but she's got to write down on her application that. Right, right. Well, unfortunately, the, the requirements weren't, we, we as a group weren't there yet. Yeah, we didn't know, know. what to put Very down. Vague. there. It was just yeah. what's existing from previous councils. So I think we just need to make sure that we are very careful about our grant applications asking for more specifics or contact people who they're going to set up these programs with and how they're going to advertise and all that sort of thing. All right, so we are going to keep her on the funding list. Yes. Is that right, Svet? Yes, yep. we're on the funding list. Okay, all right, well, I think we know our denials. Um, I will put all that together and send that out later today and then, we the clock starts for the 15 days. They get a chance to um, request that we reconsider if the state says we need to reconsider them. 
Um, and after that, we can then start to actually put money on each of these ones that we've accepted. And we'll know what the final tally is as well, too. Right. We'll know so about those other three grants that didn't get picked up tomorrow. So when do we want to meet again? Well, we can't meet and discuss anything until day 15. So what is today's date? The third? Yep. What day is the 18th? 18th is... Wednesday, 15, 16, 17. Yeah, Wednesday, a week from Wednesday. Does that work for you, Scott? Uh, what is the date again? The Wednesday? The 18th. The 18th, Wednesday, Wednesday the 18th. Yeah, I mean, I can probably join either from work or if I make it uh, early, if I can get home, but I will join for sure, yeah. Is we Wednesday or Thursday better for you? Because both would be fine. <laughs> Should be, I mean, either one, because I don't know, it's, you, it's crazy, like today, you see, like I was supposed to have the day off and then- Sunday. Well, I'm thrilled that you were able to jump on. Um, course, we got done. Wednesday yeah. works better for me than Thursday. Okay, all Let's right. Do so and so in the meantime, we can get a hold of uh, Ms. Tarr and see if she can join us. Exactly, exactly. So if right, Seth but has... at that point, we'll have already made the decisions of the denials and we're not gonna change that. No, no, well, no that's true. Already... We, can, we can change our mind. Yeah. We can. Um, I think once you do the denial and then you can go back and say, we changed our mind. Um, and are we using all the funds, guys? How much do we have left eventually after the denials? Um, just... I added up. I was just if, wondering. If, you know, we, if, yeah. if we don't fund the chest, this is the full amount that people have wanted. It, yeah. I added up the full amount people requested. Um, if we don't do the tech guy or the chess club, and the dancer was also in that, it was at 25. So with the dancer, we're at 26, 600. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we only have 25, 602 available. When we last met, we, we had around 16,000. Right, were... I put in I put in the people that we changed the denials on. Okay. Oh, for the that full we... amounts, okay. Right, for the full amounts. So what I'm saying is, is that we're gonna have to cut back on a few of these folks. Yeah. We can't yeah. fully fund them mm -hmm. as it is, unless we get the three grants that are collected that would put us where we need to be to be able to fully grant. Everybody. So we have roughly almost $2,000 in grants that we could have after tomorrow. No. Right. No, the ones that aren't collecting. It, is it? I don't it's, think it's that much, is it? It's, it's 912. Yeah, it's just under 2,000. Right. So yeah. what I'm getting at is I think we can fully fund all those that we have not denied. Yes. Assuming that we get that money released. Otherwise, we're going to have to do some finagling. Yeah, that's fine. Mm -hmm. That yeah. works. Sounds good. Okay. Very good. I bet the people listening in are happy to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we'll anyway, get, we'll get all right, so done. let's plan. Is six o'clock good for you guys on a Wednesday? Six is good. We'll make it. Yep. Svet? Yes, we'll make it. Okay, so that's Wednesday, January 18th at 6 p.m. And at that point, we should be able to allocate the funds to each of the groups. And then we send out letters to them. And on those letters, I think we should ask them to send us information on how it was spent because- <laughs> yeah. And some type of recap, you know. Yeah, I mean, this the state can go back and say you didn't use the money that we were supposed to, but they don't. Yeah. So it's going to be up to us yeah. to make sure that we follow through. Exactly. All right. Any other questions, folks? So um, by the eighteenth, if you're able to get a quorum, um, all of the people that were funded will know the amount. No. No. No, all that we can do right now is send the denials. So there are 42 grants that were requested. We're only funding like half of them. Right. So we have to send denials to everyone who applied that we're not going to give any money to. Right. Then the state reviews those and says, wait a minute, you should have given these people money. And then we have to reconsider. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. I don't know how often that happens. I wish Hinoka was on here, the gal from the state. 
but it sounds like it could happen if our reason for rejecting them, denying them is not valid. Okay. Um, I have no idea if that's gonna happen, but we have to give them 15 days to request a, a reconsideration. And in which case then we will not have the full amount to fund everybody. Because if we right. have to go back and give money to certain groups. Sure, yeah. So, so that, it, uh, all three of us are brand new to this group. So this is all brand new to us. And if we mess up, we apologize. Yeah. Um, no, we appreciate that you've taken this on. Um, I do anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, it's, it's, it's worthwhile that they're doing, um, that the state is giving the money to the towns and letting the town to decide how they want to spend it. And as you can tell, we had like $60,000 worth of requests. We don't have that amount of money. So we had to, you know, really consider ones that we're not going to accept. All okay. right. So any additional comments from the peanut gallery? I didn't know it was the peanut gallery. <laughs> <laughs> and so Tina, you're going to do the checks on the... Um, the denials. Denials. Okay, fine. If you need and any help with anything, just get... Let I'll me go know. ahead. No, I'm just going to, I'm just going to come up with this, what I think is the right reason for why we're denying them. Yeah. Um, and I'll send those out tonight so that by when we meet on the 18th, we should know if people have, have appealed yeah. um, and we should know if we've got more money to work yes. with from those three grants that didn't get collected. Yep, sounds good. All right, so the end of the meeting is at 6.40. We are awesome. Excellent. Thank you, Thank you everyone again. Thank and you. Thank you, everyone. Right but okay. we made it work, that's all that matters. That's it. All right. All right. Have a good night. Bye -bye. Good night, guys. Thank you. Bye.